Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are back on the M3 and gonna get this fuel line finished. So where we left off last video is we were trying to get this fuel line up and in here and I talked to a couple people that had run this line already and they said that this line has to so it fits up in here and and ties in up here but to get it to work you have to bend it um, and maneuver this line up in here with a with a two bender but this is a pretty thick line as you can see and we don't have really the ability to bend it too crazily um, but we're gonna see what we can do to get it into into place so that we can um, use this we have pictures of what we're supposed to be doing or what it's supposed to look like um, because if we can get that mocked up and in place and kind of run, then we can. So I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but this tube has been manipulated a lot just to get our tube into the fuel rail and to clear the throttles. We've had to manipulate the crap out of this tube just to get it to where it is. But if you look at currently it's sitting touching the starter so now that we have it secured in the fuel rail we know that it clears this now we can manipulate this hose to get back down to where our fuel filter is so that we can put this tube somewhere in the vicinity of this one so that all we have to do is make a small little loop of fuel hose and we're not doing a ton of fuel hose um so let's continue manipulating this hose and see if we can't get it down here but still clear everything up there so let's get to it and start bending so this is proving harder than expected so to get the right angle to get all your stuff up into the fuel rail and maneuvered around it's taken some because we had it at one time but then it hit the throttles um, at wide open throttle now we're trying to adjust it and we can get it to go up in but then it hits the actual throttle body before it's hitting the throttle arm. So we are still kind of playing with it to get it situated. I'm almost to the point where I'm gonna cut this sucker down here, flare the end and then rub, run just a rubber hose. I have all the flare kit over there. Um, I'd like to use the whole line so that I have this little thing on it, but that may not happen. I may have to cut this. So, I'm going to keep working at it. We're going to keep manipulating this hose little by little so I can see if we can not make this work. We got to just see where we keep getting interference and adjusting. Okay, be back. Okay, that was the hardest fight of my life. But we got it up there. We got it clipped on. And we are still in the way of the throttle body. As you can see but now we can manipulate this around a little bit better while we're hooked in so that we can figure out how to uh, work around these throttles and what we're hitting here and stuff so we can actually make a good enough fuel line but I really hate this long ass fuel line this thing is so dumb so stupid but now I can see where we can now that we're mounted I can see where we're interfering better and I can make our changes to the hose 
So let's continue on and one step there and 500 more before I cut this thing off into pieces and give up. So as you can see, I got frustrated with my line and I cut it. So now it fits it fairly straight. This is definitely something I don't know if RRD has done this yet or not, but provided an actual fuel line, like they need to design one like they designed everything else, design a fuel line. Um, Cause I don't know if I'm just dumb or stupid or something, but I, that gave me so much trouble just bending up a line to clear everything. So, um, you know, that's something that really needs to be addressed. Cause that's a, that's a mess for just a fuel line that shouldn't be a problem or an issue or anything like that. So I don't know if mine was bent in shipping or the, from the person I got it from, but it did not fit at all. Um, so I cut it, we're going to flare it. No problem. Uh, and then I'll just run a rubber hose to the fuel filter. No problem there. Uh, let's get the fuel filter actually hard mounted here um, and get this stuff cinched down and nice and tight in here so that we have all of our all of our fuel system tight um, so that it doesn't go anywhere all our fuel lines are hooked up we have our return, our feed back here, which is where? It's there. Uh, where did our feed go? What happened to the feed? That's not it. That's the return. That's not that. Where's our feed line? I can't see either, so let's see. Oh, our feed line fell. Oh, no, that's not a feed line. Where? Oh. What the? Hang on. Oh, feed line's right there. I was like, where did our feed line go? Our feed line comes. I gotta unhook that little thing. Uh, it's on a little uh, clip over here. There it goes. Mm, well, not that clip. Bottom clip. Look at it. There it goes. Hang on. You gotta get two hands on it. But there we go. Feeds on. That's on. I'll make that little bit from. I'll bend. I'm gonna bend this like. I'll bend this up, and I'll run just a small fuel line from here over to here, which I thought I had, but I don't. So now our fuel line is done. I'm gonna bend this up so that this doesn't get in the way um, of our throttle some manipulation there just a little bit of bending as far as like bending this tube back so it goes straight down and then down behind that um which shouldn't be a problem but um now that that's done we'll flare the end later run the hose and then fuel system is done um other than vacuum which that'll be our next once we hook the throttle up then we'll get back to the vacuum. We'll hook the vacuum up, run the, um, whatchamacallit, um, idle control valve, put it down here. And then once all this stuff is done here, I'm making a plate, a carbon fiber plate of some sort to cover all this BS crap here that I don't want to see. Age of everything so that's not what we're gonna worry about we're gonna worry about getting it all together um 
sorry that this was a short video guys this week has been crazy haven't had a lot of time to get out here and work on this car and when I do get time it's frustrating things like that that take two hours to bend up a fuel line that should have taken five minutes to install and been done um, but it took me two hours um, tonight so Thanks for watching guys, this video is short, but I promise they're going to get longer as I get more time to work on this and actually set time aside. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.